now this is a story about a girl who chose to obey and do the will of the Lord. And now, even though it took some wrong turns and some upside down moments, the spear within her kept her moving her forward. Now, I don't know much about poetry, but I hope you stick around to know more about my story. Oh, yeah. God bless. Ooh, 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 ooh. Jesus is rocks. Jesus is rocks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, stick around and know more about my story. Oh yeah. God bless, love you, keep on smiling, stay positive. Jesus loves you, so do I. Oh yeah, oh yeah. so far it's early for me well it's not really early but it's early it is Saturday by the way um got some chores that I didn't do yesterday to do today as far as like laundry and clean the bathroom I also need to unclog the drain because it is clogged um usually it's because of my hair but it is also because of the conditioner and shampoo and whatever else built up in there also our drain it's just trash. It need we need a new one, and yet it still hasn't been replaced yet. I don't understand why things around our house still aren't being replaced or being put. To, I don't know. I think it's a lot of it is that we're too busy being busy instead of working on things that the small details that actually need to be worked on. <sighs> that and also cost money. It's not like we don't have a savings account. We do. It's just that I don't know. I don't know what's holding us back or whatever it is, I don't know. Maybe it's because we don't think it's that necessary? Although it really is, actually. But anyway, <clears throat> I have a few things to do today. Also gotta edit. I didn't edit any videos yet, so I need to do that. Um, could soak my feet today since I took my nail polish off. I scraped it off. That stuff, I'm not sure what they stuck on. I mean, it's the long lasting gel stuff, which is great, but I can't even get it off with um, nail polish removal. So my toes look like crap right now. So they're going to have to do a major thing, ne not next week, but the following week. So I'm going to soak my feet just to give them some treatment. Um, hopefully, work on the dollhouse. <clears throat> I need to stop procrastinating on that. So, God has been giving me some confirmation lately about things. So I'm going to have to follow through and stop being such a wimp about things and just open up about it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to open up on here, obviously. I just need to do it on my own and take charge of <laughs> what God has called me to do and what he's placed on my heart. And I just need to follow through with it instead of putting it off. Because I, letting fear, letting fear get to me is not the answer. I need to stop being so fearful and making all these lame excuses why I can't do certain things that needs to be addressed and worked on and I've been praying and the Spirit's been working on me so hopefully I'll, I'll actually follow through with it my goal is to follow through today at least make an effort at least and if it falls through it falls through oh well you know but anyway also I have to get tomorrow's I got two outfits to get tomorrow for tomorrow because our fall festival church outreach thing is tomorrow night. So, which will be outside the pavilion. It's kind of like our picnic. We're having lots of fun games. We're going to have, I think I've already explained all this in my other video, but we'll have games, we'll have prizes, we'll have hay rides, we'll have live music, 
food, all the works. It's going to be fun. It was fun last year, so hopefully this year it'll be just as great. So, And of course I'll be taking pictures, which is always fun. I always have fun when I am actually doing something, especially a project like this. It's just, even though I'm not editing <clears throat> anything, um, which is a lot of peer pressure to, on me specifically because I can't handle like all oh, the next day I have to have it ready type syndrome so I'm not going to do that I'll just give my SD card to the pastor's wife and she can take care of it she can do whatever with the pictures <clears throat> maybe one of these days I'll actually have access to like be able to actually full on put a slideshow together looking profession looking and sounding professionally and get the auto right and then I'll be like, hey, this is my work, you know. I mean I'm obviously doing it now, I'm just not doing it it looks amateur like, at least from my perspective it definitely does. I know I can't compare myself to other YouTubers or people have been doing photographers, videographers that have been doing it for years. I've only been doing it for a little over a year now, so I can't compare myself to others. And I'm doing pretty good considering how amateur I am. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to continue to work on it, and hopefully one of these days I'll do a better job. And hope you guys will. I am contemplating on doing a new intro here pretty soon. Because you're probably getting sick of our my intro, so I'm going to try to work on that. Um, as well. It's not going to be the same. I'm going to do it differently. So, hopefully we can work on that. Anyway, I'm just going to get myself going, and I guess I'll see you guys at some point. Also, it is not a sunny day. It is... I don't know if you can see that or not. It's too blurry. But anyway, I know it looks kind of... There we go. Um, shiny. It's just, it's overcast. I mean, the sun is in the horizon, but there's a lot of clouds. You can't really see out there, but it does, it is, it's overcast, so. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I see you. <laughs> Girls back. I was able to eat. I did a few. I really didn't do any much chores yet. I mean, I'm doing my laundry in the process of doing that, but I haven't gotten to the bathroom yet. Um, the fan bam is leaving. I have the whole house to myself. Yay! I love it when I have the whole house to myself. I feel free for alive. I have freedom to do whatever the heck I want, which I don't really do much. But nonetheless, I still have freedom to talk and be loud as obnoxiously as I want to be. Woo! -hoo! Anyway, everyone's gone. They're going to, they went to a reunion. I, of course, homegirl, you know me. I am not a social person. I like to be by myself. Unless I have something productive to do as far as like taking pictures or doing something or feel comfortable interacting with people, that's fine. But yeah, I'm not really wanting to do things. Zachary left his ceiling fan on. Uh, that needs to be turned off. Unnecessary. <laughs> Very unnecessary. But anyway. <sighs> then on top of it, he leaves, oh, I'm constantly picking up after him as far as putting, cleaning up the bathroom. I'm not going to lie, Ricky is no better. He isn't. Like, they're constantly leaving towels, maybe put away, hung up so it dries properly. That needs to always be hung up, the towel, I mean the rug. And then Zachary leaves his pajamas in here. It's like, bro, just simply put your stuff away. And he hasn't put any of his clothes that are supposedly clean away. Mm. Anyway, I'm going downstairs. I'm going to do check on my laundry. Why am I whispering? No one's home. Right? No one's home? Yeah, no. Why am I whispering? I don't know. Anyway, let's check 
What's going on in here? Looks like the washer is about to stop. Dryer's got like 30 minutes to go. Anyway, wait for that. They did lock the door. Interesting. They they asked me if I want the door locked. I'm like, it doesn't matter if it's locked or not. I don't care. It's not like the boogeyman or anyone's gonna come in that I'm aware of. No one would be actually um, coming into our house. But anyway, I have the whole house to myself. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, I need paper towels. <laughs> We ran out of paper towels. We need to put paper towels up. Oh, I haven't actually showed you guys this, but our living room is different, sort of. Um, we got new two new chairs here. They're reclining chairs, so they're very nice. They have um, obviously cup holders here, but they also have glass space. Okay, Ricky's got his stuff in here. Um, this side, ha I think, is where the cord is. Yeah, the plug in. That's where he plugs his charger in. This is his chair, obviously. And then mom has hers, or Zachary, or whoever. Um, but yeah, that's basically what's new in this down here. We, mom's even thinking about getting rid of this one because no one thinks it's comfortable. It isn't. The couch is very uncomfortable, but it is spacious. So, and then she, but she's regretting it and impulsively. Oh, no, I just remember I was getting paper towels. Um, as an impulse, she bought it, and then now she's thinking. Oh, there's so much like a reclining couch we can have and so between Ricky and her she has to decide if we're gonna sell that couch and get this new couch or I don't know we'll say I have no say in the matter I mean mom asked my opinion about a lot of things but I don't really give my opinion because it's like this isn't my house I mean it is but it's not like I have full um, access or I don't know how to describe it it's not exactly my house it's not under my name it's under Ricky and Sophie so I can't exactly say <laughs> toilet paper fell down from up here so I'm trying to throw it back up uh, it's not really working there we go okay <laughs> Yeah, so I don't really have any say in the matter. I mean, I kind of do, but not really. Because my name's not on the house now, but I don't own the house. The only house I own is my dollhouse. <laughs> it's the only one I'll ever own, probably. Uh, hey, stay. Stay. There we go. So, I don't know. Kitchen's kind of messy. Let's look at the whole three leaves right now, so we're rushing out. So I guess I'll clean it up. Cause I got nothing better to do, right? Okie dokie, artichoke. See what I'm doing. Probably not to you guys, but Push 
a button on my phone or my camera here and I'm not sure. I assume it's still recording. What did I push? No. Okay. <laughs> I pushed something. That's still recording. Anyway, it's, as long as I guess the red button's up there, it's still recording, but it doesn't look... I pressed the button now, it's not showing everything. in the mood up for but we don't have this crescent um pigs in a blanket. I don't have crescent rolls. We have biscuits but it's not the same. Can't roll it in to do. Why am I always craving carbs? Something wrong with that picture. Something's wrong with that peak show. Clean up as it, it's going to get, I guess. What in the world is going on? Alright, kitchen is cleaned up as much as it's going to get. It's going to obviously get dirty. It always does. Oh, I want to show you a little sign that one of our clients had given um, my mom and I. I have one upstairs. It's the complete opposite of this one. It looks very similar, except for mom's. She picked out the white one, and this says fall. Mine is orange, and it says welcome on there. So it's like the complete opposite, but we have very similar ones, and it's so cute. Little fall decoration. We haven't put a lot of fall de decorations up just yet. Um, don't think we're going to, to be quite honest. It's just too much stuff to dust around. We're trying to declutter a lot of things and get rid of things. And so, yeah, it's been just, I don't know. It's just too much to handle or vacuum and dust. I'm just like, oh, it's so annoying. All right, my washer's done. The dryer's not. Well, that's for me to decide. I gotta see if it actually is dry or not. Stay here. I mean, it could be dry. It's been in for a long time. I think it is. My hoodie, my favorite hoodie I wore yesterday. I love this thing. I don't know how, I, I guess I got paint or glue on it. I don't know what happened there.
So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fold this close, and then I'll see you guys when I go upstairs because it'll be Bible time soon. So. Okay, we are back. I don't know what I pressed earlier that caused it to not show. Oh, anyway. My settings are all messed up now, but anyway, I'll fix that later. Um, so I put my laundry away. That was done. Oh, it's so liberating just to be able to talk and say whatever I want at the top of my lungs if I wanted to. I have the door wide open. I even go and went to the bathroom. I don't know if it's just me, but obviously I have the tendency to have, well, it is a habit of going to the bathroom and shutting the door and lock it. Well, when a guy's not here, I can just leave it open. Even when my mom's here, um, I didn't always have to if I'm upstairs. She never, hardly ever goes upstairs anyway. Um, <laughs> but I was like, man, I can have the door wide open and not even care. I mean, even when our pets were here, I would allow, if I was by myself with the pets, I would, the cat would sure go in. He was always meowing and wanting in. I can't remember if Zoe would come in or not. I think she would, but I'm not sure. I can't exactly remember those days because for the longest time she was always locked up in my room. Um, now, Skylar, however, she wouldn't always want to come in. She would come downstairs to the bathroom because she's that was her safe bound. But at the upstairs bathroom, yeah, no, she would be like, uh-uh. She associated that with bath time. She knew she would probably get a bath if she came in. Sometimes I would leave it wide open and be like, hey, Skylar, come on. You know, and she would try to come in, but not always. But And then sometimes the half bathroom traumatized her too because that would associate with, oh, you're going to give me medicine. Oh, I'm not coming in here type situation. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so the pets would come in sometimes. Um, yeah. Don't even have that anymore. So, I'm not going to lie. I do miss those little brats, honestly. I miss Skylar more because I think she was more entertaining than the cats, even though we had the cats a lot longer. But I miss them. I really do. I say hi to them or good morning or I'll be right back, even though, you know, I'm talking to their graves. But is anyone beside myself crazy like that? I don't know. <laughs> it just gives me kind of a peace, even though I know they're not alive anymore or listening. But... It's just me and my family kind of, when my mom says hi, and I think Zachary does occasionally. I don't think Ricky does. He thinks it's probably weird, so. But anyway. It's everybody's favorite time of the vlog. It's Bible time. So let's get started, shall we? We're in Genesis chapter 39. We're getting coming along. Joseph in Potiphar's house. When Joseph was taken to Egypt by the Ishmaelite tradition, uh, what? What is that? Traditioners? What? Traditioners? I guess that's what it is. He was purchased by Potiphar, an Egyptian officer. Potiphar was captured was captain of the guard for Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. A little sidebar called "Turn and Run." Joseph, Joseph, of, la, la, la. Joseph, oh Joseph avoided Potiphar's wife as much as he, as possible. He refused her sexual advantages, and finally ran from her. Sometimes merely trying to avoid temptations is not enough. We must turn and run, especially when the temptations seem very uh, strong. Running from sin isn't cowardly. It could save your life. And yes, I've had temptations where I've had to basically get away from it. Not only ask God to forgive me to help me get through this situation, but literally just get off of it and stay off of it. Or especially, or whatever I need to get away from, I just had to get away from, basically. So it's not easy, but it is possible at some point if you allow it to escape you allow yourself to escape or exempt from your that position the lord was with joseph so he succeeded in everything he did as he served in the home of his egyptian master 
Potiphar noticed this and realized that the Lord was with Joseph, giving him success in everything he did. This pleased Potiphar, so he soon made Joseph his personal attendant. He put him in charge of his entire household. Wow, he must have really trusted him. Because that's a big responsibility. And everything he owned. From the day Joseph was put in charge of his master's household and property, the Lord began to bless Potiphar's household for Joseph's sake. All his household affairs ran smoothly and his crops and livestock flourished. So Potiphar gave Joseph complete administrative responsibility over everything he owned. But Joseph there, he didn't worry about a thing, except what kind of food to eat. Joseph was a very handsome and well-built young man, and Potiphar's wife soon began to look at him lustfully. Naughty, naughty. Come and sleep with me, she demanded. Yeah, because that's what, what he wants to do. No. But Joseph refused. Look, he told her, my master trusts me with everything in his entire household. No one here has more authority than I do. He has held back nothing from me except you because you are his wife. He could. How could I do a such wicked thing? It would be a great sin against God. Another sidebar called his presence power. As a prisoner and slave, Joseph could have believed that his situation was hopeless. Instead, he did his best with each assigned task. The chief jailer who promoted him to prison administrator, administrator soon noticed his diligence and positive attitude. Are you in the midst of a seemingly hopeless predicament? Perhaps you've wondered whether you suppo you're supposed to fake a positive attitude. No, we shouldn't. You don't have to fake it. Instead, you might ask God to help you recognize his presence, even in the midst of an impossible, difficult situation. She kept putting pressure on Joseph day after day, but he refused to sleep with her, and he kept out of her way as much as possible. One day, however, no one else was around when he went to do his work. She came and grabbed him by his cloak, demanding, Come on, sleep with me. Joseph tore himself away, but he left his cloak in her hand as he ran from the house. And this gives her an ambition, ammunition to cause trouble against Joseph. When she saw that she was holding his cloak and he had fled, she called out to her servants. Soon all the men came running. Look, she said, my husband has brought this Hebrew slave. Now she's making accusations now because she didn't get her way. So it sounds pretty familiar nowadays. If we don't get our way, we try to make accusations or make an excuse for it, our bad behavior. <sighs> My husband has brought this Hebrew slave here to make fools of us. He came into my room to rape me. Uh, no he didn't. You're pushing yourself onto him. But I screamed. Then he heard me scream. He ran outside and got away, but he left his cloak behind with me. Uh, trying to cover up your sins, are we? She kept the cloak with her until her husband came home. Then she told him her story. That Hebrew slave you brought into our house tried to come in and fool around with me. Uh, again, lie on top of no lie, she said. But when I screamed, he ran outside, leaving his cloak with me. Joseph is put into prison, even though he did nothing wrong. Potiphar was furious when he heard his wife's story about how Joseph had treated her. He took, yeah, had treated her all right. So he took Joseph and threw him to the prison where the king's prisoners were held, and there he remained. The Lord was with Joseph in the prison and showed him his faithful love. The Lord made Joseph a favorite with the prison warden. Before long, the warden put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners and over everything that happened in the prison. The warden had no more worries because Joseph took care of everything. The Lord was with him and caused everything he did to succeed. So no matter how much Joseph was put through the fire, his brothers being jealous of him and throwing him to slavery. And then Pot, he, he got rewarded and was, he was faithful to God. And so he got rewarded by, by putting him in front of Potiphar's household. Of course, people were jealous of the man, the young man. You know, he was handsome. And then his Potiphar's wife, whatever her name was, they never mention it, put in front of 
was lustful and tried to go after her because she didn't get her way about things. She went after him and made accusations and then Potiphar was mad so he put him to prison. But because Joseph was faithful and served the Lord wholeheartedly, he, um, the warden of the prison saw his faithfulness and put him in charge and so no matter how many times Joseph innocently did nothing wrong he was still faithful to God God was still faithful to him and took care of him and his situation no matter how worse it got so we need to be like Joseph and stay faithful and loyal to God and no matter what our situation is he, he's gonna get us through a lot of situations he's gonna see us through as long as we stay in the faith so thank you Lord always for your living breathing word so now we're going to get into chicken soup <laughs> and we're going to see what we land in. So we're going to randomly pick one. Okay, so this is on self-acceptance. This is just a poem. I guess you could say it's a short little thing. I'm going to keep the names ex um, anonymous throughout this. I know earlier, I'd, yesterday, I kind of had slipped some names. I'm going to keep the names anonymous just because. This is called Again. If if when you wake up in the morning and the hurting is so great, you don't want to get out of bed and face a world of hate. If everything in life goes wrong and nothing you do seems right, you just try a little harder and soon you'll see the light. For every person who has put you down and filled your life with pain, you must strive to achieve greatness and show them you can win. For every disappointment, for the times you are let down, there will be a better monument or moment, and your life will turn around. Because of everyone, because because everyone feels heartache and everyone feels pain, but only those who true, who have true courage, can get up and try again. So that is the little poem that we have read, and so. Yes. So we can, no matter how many times people throw whatever in our way and we feel pain, we can keep going, keep on striding just like Joseph. We can keep on going no matter how many stumbling blocks we come across. We need to literally just accept it and move on from the situation. I know it's not always, it's easier said than done, but we can overcome it if we ask. God and there's no shame in accepting God's help and getting through a situation I think it's more it should be more of um, acceptable to ask God for help and or ask someone else for help as well obviously it's better to go to God first for advice ask and pray what um, he wants us to do through the situation if you feel like you need to go to someone else just for I guess a backup situation you can as well so but it's no shame in helping asking for help y'all no matter how old or what if we're male or female we need to ask for help don't depend on yourself because ourselves can leave us distraught and upsetting it can be upsetting at times so Alright, so for me, I need to go clean the bathroom. I'm not looking forward to that. I have to go do that. I also have to unclog the drain. <laughs> Fun. And I don't know when I'll come film again. So I'll see you when I see you, right? <laughs> Hello, and just like that is the evening. It's been an actually pleasant day. I've had a great day by myself. I think it was they were gone for like four hours or something like that. So, I had the whole house to myself, and it was so, uh, you know, relaxing. So, I did get a nap today, um, 45-ish minutes, something like that, but that was really nice. If you can hear in the background, yeah, he's mowing outside. He said he wasn't going to mow, but his OCD gets to him. So, there we have it. He's mowing this evening. At least it's not hot out. That's something to be grateful for. But yeah, um, by the way, tomorrow is calling for rain. It's going to hinge on our event tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to have it 
uh, or not. I mean, as far as the, the whole thing, um, we won't, um, we'll have it in the vent inside. We can always have it inside if it rains, but we won't have the hay rides, we won't have the bouncy house, and some of the other stuff. So that's going to be disappointing. That part, that is. I mean, we can always do it next year. I know we can if, you know, we're doing it next year. I'm pretty sure we will. So, hoping and praying that it doesn't rain tomorrow. Or if it does, that it stops and then dries up. And then we can have a good time tomorrow outside. Even though it's going to be kind of chilly. If it, the weather was nice like today and it happens tomorrow, that would be so great. So I'm hoping and praying that happens so we can have the event outside. You know, just makes my... I'm not saying we can't have it inside. It's just, it's a little bit bo boring that way. Mm. But anyway, whatever happens, happens, you know? So, yeah, I'm all ready for tomorrow ne either way. I got a lot of my chores done, so got the bathroom cl clean, check. The drain is working better now. No more buildup. <laughs> it was so gross, I'm not going to tell you how gross it was because it was really gross I'm like ugh this is absolutely disgusting I almost gagged at one point I was like ugh gross it's not the sight of it it was the smell that got to me I was like ugh breathe out of your mouth Chelsea don't breathe through your nose because <laughs> otherwise you're just going to keep feeling sick but anyway yeah all my laundry everything is done 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 the only thing I didn't really do was work on my dollhouse and soak my feet wow shocker I could still do soak on my feet but I'm too lazy. And that and the poor thing, my um foot soaker, it doesn't work anymore, which is sad. I'm gonna have to eventually get rid of it and get a new one. Put some money aside. I actually can't afford one technically. I just don't wanna buy it right now. Speaking of money, I already counted most of my money up. I have some I have a stash laid aside for my lens camera lens because that's what I want to buy next over even my phone so yeah I don't have enough money right now to buy a phone so I'll have to wait till Christmas and birthdays a couple of Christmas and birthdays and maybe next year I'll get a phone who knows anyone right now I want to get the camera lens it's more important right now for me versus my phone because my phone technically it works it's just the battery dies way quicker now and then also the fact that it doesn't have enough storage. But we can deal with that, can't we? I know, yes. We can deal with it. We've dealt, I've dealt with it for so long. But I've done my research. I've already found some phones I'm interested in. I'm still sticking to LG. I am an Android fan. Don't come at me. If you're an, an Apple fan, by all means. But I'm an Android fan. I love LG. I've never had any problems. The last couple of phones I've had, I've had no problems with LG. So I'm going to stick with it. And they have a couple that I've found. The one that's... I can't, I can't seem to find the pricing of them. They don't put the pricing out, which is a bummer. But I'm going to... Either the LG Velvet or the LG LQ... Cute. I don't know. It was some kind of weird. <laughs> but there was two brands I saw that are both basically the the same capacity. So that's good. And the phone, you know, I could probably take better pictures with it, even though I take most pi my pictures on here. But sometimes if I don't have my camera, I have it on my phone. So yeah. Yeah, I have. I have objectives. It will happen, just not right away. Anyway, um, so yeah, looking forward to tomorrow, no matter if it rains or not, we'll still have some fun, we will. So yeah, um, what else is going to happen? Nothing much, I'm just going to chill out, I chillax, I gotta edit this video, and then, yeah, and eventually I'll upload the video, so stay tuned. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, keep on smiling, stay positive. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.